Hi, I'm Leslie Claire Spillman. I'm the director here at Soren Christensen Gallery, and we have three beautiful shows for the month of December. The first of which is our ninth offering in participation with Photo Nola. It's a month long celebration of photography put on by the New Orleans Photo Alliance. This year, we welcome Jane Fulton Alt with Fire Water. It's a selection of works from three ongoing series by the artist. My absolute favorite of these three series by Jane is her Burn series. And it's a body of work that was born out of a very unique time in her life, one that would prove to be so important to her creatively and in her future work. She had already for a number of years been examining this idea of life and death and the human customs and traditions around it. It was right around the spring of 2007 that she welcomed with much joy her first grandchild, but almost immediately learned of the terminal cancer diagnosis of her sister. Interestingly enough, right at this time, Jane witnessed her first controlled burn, and she was very struck by this idea of fire as having the potential to be such a destructive and violent force, but also with the controlled burn, having this regenerative quality that it was necessary for the sustaining of that particular environment. And it spoke so acutely to what she had already been examining for years in her work, this idea of the duality between life and death. So we have a pretty large roster here at the gallery with 31 exhibiting artists. And while we're typically one artist at a time in our front gallery space, we do occasionally do group installations and those are my personal favorite because it gives me the opportunity to showcase more than one of our talented artists at once. In part of our front gallery this month, we have a group installation that features 10 of those artists. And one of my favorite vignettes from this installation are these two pieces by two wonderful Louisiana artists, Lynn Sanders, who's a very popular colorist and non-objective painter, and Audra Kohout, who's a New Orleans artist who specializes in sort of very unique and different assemblage work that's unlike anything you've ever seen. One of my favorite things about group installations, the challenge of it, is the arrangement of disparate parts and making very different elements work together. And this is really clear in this particular combination of works. In our rear gallery space this month, we're so excited to present the return of one of our longest represented and most popular artists, Dana Chapman Tupa. Dana is an artist and educator who teaches at the university in Jacksonville, Florida, and she makes beautiful ceramic work that is typically wall mountable and incredibly affordable. Dana's thing is all about exaggerating the proportion of very small or even mostly imperceptible things, and she'll even fudge nature a little bit, like with her Idle Chitter Chatter series, where she imagines what she calls butterfly eggs, and they're more just sort of creations from her imagination. In other series, she represents reality pretty specifically, like her mechanical series where she makes screws and nuts and bolts and things like that.